Wherever we live, in towns or in the country, we can see trees. Trees of different shapes and different sizes. In some towns and cities, the streets are lined with trees. Some of the trees have flowers on them in spring or early summer. The flowers are called blossoms. In some cities, there are parks where lots of different kinds of trees grow. Quite often, you'll find clusters of trees growing together. These trees form a wood. This much bigger wooded area is called a forest. It stretches for miles and miles. It's been specially planted with trees that will grow quickly. This man is planting small trees. In three or four years time, they will have grown taller and stronger. Big enough to use for a Christmas tree. These trees are 20 years old. They're being cut down to be made into fencing posts. This is a sawmill in the forest. Here, the tree trunks are cut into shorter lengths. Next, a circular saw that goes round and round cuts them in half. Then, each half is sawn again. The posts need points to drive into the ground. So this man is sawing the end of the fence post to make it pointed. When a tree is cut down, you can see the wood has grown in rings. Each ring shows one year's growth. Someone has counted the rings. There are 150. So this tree was 150 years old when it was cut down. This is an oak tree. It's 120 years old. It's being cut down to go to the sawmill. Let's watch and listen. Now, let's see what happens when it reaches the sawmill. First of all, it's unloaded by a big crane. The tree trunks are put onto a machine one by one. A saw saws them into planks. The planks are carried away on rollers to be piled up.
look at the saw cutting through the wood. There's the plank on the rollers. These are planks of wood stacked up to dry. The wood from some trees, like oak or elm trees, is called hardwood. Other trees, like pine or fir, give us softwoods. These men are pushing a load of softwood into a big oven called a kiln. In the kiln, the water in the wood is slowly dried out. When it's dry, the wood will be used to make something. Perhaps a window frame. Or a door for a new house. Or it could be part of a roof. Or maybe a chair leg. Lots of furniture is made of wood. Are you sitting on a wooden chair? How many things can you think of that are made of wood? These children are learning to make things with wood. They're using tools to cut the wood and to smooth it. This plane is shaving long pieces of wood. The wood shavings are being used to make pictures. So many things are made from wood. Just think, they all started out as part of a tree. <laughs> 